Good morning, I'm going now with my special merchant face speech. DPS parents and students, welcome to our Kenshinka Aikido Federation headquarters. Today's ceremony is for the commemoration of the 19th anniversary of the passing of Master Dantote, the pioneer who over half a century ago introduced Aikido to the country of Vietnam. The following is the brief summary of Master Day's life. Master Dam Tok Day was born on November 17, 1928 at 13 Hue, the province in the north central coast region of Vietnam. Around 1940 or 1942, seeking to avoid the French invaders' persecution, he moved to the southern region of Vietnam with a younger brother and their father. In his younger years, Master Ji had learned Shaolin Kung Fu and English boxing from his brother-in-law, Dr. Nguyen Tai, and become quite proficient at those arts. In 1949, Master Ji traveled to France to continue his education. While there, he also took up judo training but found himself unsuited for this martial art due to his small frame. So on his judo's, uh, judo instructor's advice, he switched over to Aikido. Despite initial misgivings as to its effectiveness, a very short time later, Master J began to understand and master this art. In 1958, upon graduation from criminology at the University of Paris, Master J returned to Vietnam where he served in the First Republic's Ministry of Education and Youth. He founded the Vietnam Judo Federation and for the first time in Vietnam's long martial art history, Master Chi introduced Aikido to the Vietnamese general public at the Hanbai Martial Arts Association. In 1960, Master Chi founded the Vietnam Aikido Judo, Aikido Judo Association. Soon, on the invitation of Mr. Kao Sung Vi, then General Director of Youth and Sports, he began to oversee both Judo and Aikido as a specialist of the ministry. In addition to the Central Dojo, Master J also instructed at several other government agencies such as the Union of Republican Women, the Nguyen Chai Youth Intermediate Training Center, and Gong Hoa Stadium. His teaching efforts were later sustained with the presence of Master Mutsuru Nakazoro, from whom he had learned Aikido while in France. Master Tri was only able to set up the basic foundation for the martial art of Aikido as he only stayed in Vietnam for six years. In October 1964, at the invitation of the U.S. Martial Art Association, he came to Monterey, California to teach Judo and Aikido. During this time, he also taught at the Monterey Police Department while further maintaining a private dojo in Sacramento where he taught different martial arts, Aikido remaining the principal subject. Master Dan Tong Tui passed away on October 12, 1995, leaving behind a monumental legacy that spanned over two continents and positively affected thousands of martial art practitioners in Vietnam and in the USA. He also authored a number of books, some of the more well-known including Beginning Tai Chi, Beyond the Known, and Toward the Unknown. On this occasion, I would like to present with you, I'm sorry, to present you with a brief synopsis of the creation of our school. The founder of Aikido was Morihei Wishiba, also referred to as Kosensei, meaning the great teacher. In his youth, he studied many different martial arts, all of which he mastered. He received and accepted many challenges to fight, but was never defeated. One day, the question came to his mind. What meaning was there to win over his opponents when one could not even control his own spirit? 
He then set out to find the answer to the question through the practice of austerity, meditation, and ritual body purification. With the revelation that finally came, he realized that Buddha was the love of heaven and the universe. He would often say that the primary goal of martial arts should not be to defeat others, but to practice the love of heaven within one's self. He began to instill that philosophy into the heart and mind of his disciples through the martial art of Aikido, which he founded in 1942. Today, as we gather here to celebrate the spirit of O Sensei Mori Ueshiba and remember the legacy of Master Dang Tung Tri, I would like to use some of O Sensei's last words before his passing to address all Aikido students. Aikido is the true Buddha. It is the universe's channel to love. It is the source of creation, not just of martial art, but of all things which fosters growth and development. As disciples of Osensei, we too must foster the growth and development of Aikido. It is not enough to merely come and practice on the mat. We must conduct our lives in accordance with the Aikido philosophy as taught by Osensei. Always placing love above hatred, choosing peace over conflict, and constantly seeking harmony in our daily interaction with others. We must further strive to help propagate the ideal of Aikido, the best way for it being to become instructors. For those of you who have chosen or will choose to take that commendable, albeit difficult path, you must disappoint neither the children who have come to seek your guidance nor the parents who have entrusted their kids to your instruction. You must learn to be efficient teachers and you must set the examples for your students to follow. On behalf of all Tenshinka Aikido members, I wish to express our deepest gratitude towards our distinguished guests, our friends, families, and representatives of the local media you who have come today to lend us support. At the conclusion of our ceremony, light lunch will be served, and we hope you will be able to stay and share some of the food with us. Thank you. quý vị sau đây là phần thăng cấp uh, cho các môn sinh uh, chúng tôi xin nhắc trước là chúng ta sẽ có phần chúc mừng chung cho tất cả các em uh, ở cuối phần uh, chào đài following is a few promotions for those who are being promoted today uh, please note we're gonna have a take picture the pictures at the end uh, so once you're done come back to the same seat that you have before okay, thank you